Hi everyone, today is vlog number three and it's so great that um, that all of you are here watching and I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog about entity clearings. If you haven't had a chance, check it out. So today I'd like to share with you uh, my recent experience uh, just, well, just uh, two nights ago. I was uh, with my friends and my husband and we were together in what's called a development circle. We decided to create that uh, because we want to have um, uh, even more contact with our helping spirits and also to further develop our psychic abilities and healing abilities. Um, I would have to say that most of us are in that circle, circle are already quite experienced with uh, channeling and healing, um, but it was such a pleasure for my husband to join the circle and to step into that role of uh, looking at his own abilities, his own power, uh, because he is in his own right a healer, but he hasn't fully acknowledged that, um, and he's quite psychic. So I was really touched that he uh, came and gave it a try and in the end he said he really really enjoyed it so we're going to be continuing with our weekly developmental circle here in Bali and uh, the idea is that maybe the circle will grow we'll invite uh, just a few more people probably uh, keep it small but I'm, I'm excited about this because um, through this developmental circle we are expanding our consciousness and we can even be a greater contribution uh, to the world and to ourselves. So today I'd like to, to talk to you about the importance of, of having self-compassion. I've It's just become a theme this week and um, I've noticed how some of my friends have been pretty hard on themselves and um, I've just reminded them of the importance of loving and caring for for themselves and making that a priority and uh, in their lives. I've been noticing that a few of my friends also are struggling because they are either in a, a bad relationship, a destructive relationship, or they are um, apart from their partner or loved one and it's it's hard you know when you're you're in a relationship with someone that either they're far away or they're not really being kind and caring to you and I know everybody says that we are the master of our universe and we're creating this reality I, I, I think in some cases that's true but not in every case um, I just, my heart goes out to those friends who are struggling and are looking for partnership. And Kuan Yin would like to come in and share today that the way to have a truly fulfilling and loving partnership with someone else, of course, is to start with ourselves to cultivate that love and self-compassion for you, to learn how to forgive yourself, accept yourself, be kind and caring to yourself. And through these actions, we can easily magnetize a partner who will treat us with respect and kindness be truly caring and loving to us. I just want to take a deep breath into all of that. Just really put your hand perhaps on your heart and really feel as I say these words. Bring that energy into your heart space. I totally deserve to love and accept myself exactly as I am. Breathe that in. 
I am totally good enough exactly as I am. And I totally deserve to have a loving and fulfilling relationship with a beautiful partner who loves and accepts me exactly as I am. Words are powerful. Words are our magic. When we put out our intention, our words of magic into the universe, we make it manifest. It becomes reality. And this is why it's also important to think about your self-talk. Are you talking to yourself in a kind way? Or are you be beating yourself up and being really mean to yourself. When you find yourself moving into that darker place of self-criticism and judgment, please stop yourself in that moment. You can even do that by saying, I cancel and delete that, I cancel and delete that, I cancel and delete that. Come back into the space of self-love. Perhaps repeat those affirmations I've just shared with you. I totally deserve to love and accept myself exactly as I am, or I am totally good enough exactly as I am. Let it become a mantra. Find yourself repeating it when you're washing the dishes, in the shower, or just sitting quietly somewhere in nature. If you're in nature, you can actually call in the energies of the trees and the flowers and all of nature around you and ask nature to be a contribution to you creating this new positive program. Everything has energy. And when we're willing to just tap into that energy and call it into us, it can be a contribution to our lives and to our beings and to our bodies. It's really my greatest wish to see people free from suffering, to truly love and accept themselves exactly as they are and know that they're good enough. It's taken me many years to get to that place. And I'm not saying I don't have my bad days. We all do. But I find more and more I self-correct my thinking. I stop those negative thoughts right in their track. 